good morning and happy february the 6th i hope you guys are doing well i i'm kind of shocked with how quickly this first month of working back in the animation industry has gone for me it's very bittersweet because i'm not really ready to be working and not be with riley all the time but it is what it is um i did want to show you guys this month's patreon award so here is the log cabin i made and then here is the vinyl sticker you get with it I'm really happy with how it turned out because it's super whimsical, it's super freeing from what I've been doing recently. So I have these already ready to go just because I like to get these out of the way as quickly as possible. I actually did my nails for the first time and I don't know how long. My mom got me this really cool nail polish. It's like a magnet nail polish that I think is really cool. Is Riley gonna come say hi? So I really love how that turned out. Riley! Oh, she's got her patch on still. Oh, of course, that doesn't she come She got a boogity nose. Until. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, you're pushing me away. Look, look, Riley, can you see yourself here? Look, Riley, hi! Say hi! Riley, hi! All right, it's time for, oh, there we go, good girl, yay! There we go, oh, I'm clapping. It's time for self-care morning time. Yeah. Bye, Daddy, bye, baby. Bye, love. See you guys in a little bit because after self-care time they will come and hang out in here until it is time for Riley's nap time and I love it don't stop doing it I won't. yay yay sorry I had to fix my my cushion but um flow is an interesting department I will say I'm just um I get really stressed about things really easily I think um, but yeah, we also went to Momo this weekend, which is like a Japanese store and we got some cute little bowls there because I bro Chris broke one So then I was like, all right, well, we're gonna go buy a whole bunch more So here's what one of them looks like. I've got a fruit salad. That's on its last leg in here, but um yeah, we ended up getting a cute little Shiba Inu one for my girlfriend for this past weekend because we went to her birthday party, which was super fantastic and yeah we got a whole bunch of paint for her playhouse uh, maybe i'll show you guys the colors and stuff later on today um but turns out so we went to home depot and turns out nobody so chris had asked one of the guys that worked there because um, we had to get some wood cut because we're still putting together our baby gates so that you know riley doesn't hurt herself and um chris said you know the place is dead because it's usually like one of the most busiest home depots in this part of the city and because it's like a major hub for a lot of places and the guy said it's been this dead since January so it's because of like inflation and you know everyone's like bare bones right now and they don't have money to be spending on this stuff I mean I shouldn't be buying this stuff either but my mom gave me some money for it we're adding in a little chunk of change because there's definitely not going to be enough for everything that needs to be done but yeah it's it's crazy, guys, it's crazy. Anyways, on that wonderful note, let's get into the work day and we'll touch base in a little bit. I do have a meeting about the render farm, which I'm excited about. I did have a meeting about it on Friday, which I jotted down some notes about because I'm not a coding person, I'm an artist. And so dealing with this kind of stuff has been really difficult for me. Um, because it's like, I'm looking at the code and I'm just like, question mark, question mark, question mark. So other things I want to get go doing today, personal stuff, is I want to work more on my Patreon um, drawing for next month's postcard. Uh, it's going to be bakery themed, which I'm really excited about. And then um, I might want to do another one or two drawing pages for... I'm coming up with different ideas for doing um, name tags for little kids for either their water bottles or their clothing and that kind of stuff. So either I would use vinyl stickers or iron-ons. And um, so I'm just, I'm in the like developmental stage at the moment where I'm coming up with ideas. And I'm really excited about that because soon I'm gonna have to do all of that kind of stuff to all of Riley's things so that doesn't go missing. <laughs> So anyways, on that note, I will 
um, talk to you guys. Bye, watch your vlog. After we got it, I was kind of like, oh, this looks small. Do you have any tea this afternoon after lunch? So I just hung out with Riley and Chris for a little while. This morning I did a lot of troubleshooting with uh, learning how to read the code and like finding broken things and either fixing it or sending it to the proper departments to get things adjusted and then um, I got back how many? One, two, seven. I got back seven out of 12. Seven out of 12 ain't bad, I'm gonna say, because that means I'm only waiting on five more, so not bad at all. I'm gonna jump on seeing what's going on there shortly, and I wanted to showcase the colors that I got from the, uh, when I went to Home Depot. So here are the two colors. I mean, I love the names. How is it that we picked two food colors? What the heck? So we've got Coconut Twist is going to be the main color for the entire house. I wanted something like an off-white, like a, a bone white or more like a white that has like a warm tint to it. So that's why I went with something like this. And then this is going to be the um the door and the what's it called like the little picnic bench area and then i also got a true white a semi-gloss true white which i'll use for like the mailbox and the windows and the trim and all that kind of stuff so um i probably will also paint the ceiling inside this color we probably will also put shingles on it just to help keep the roof in better order the other thing we want to do is get some plexiglass and cover the actual windows so that it's at least slightly weatherproofed um, and then there's two open windows on either side which I find to be a little ridiculous so what we're also going to do there is we might have some wood left over from the, the baby gate situations that we're doing for her we're hoping because you know anything that we can already have on hand that we can just add to it is fantastic so um, we're hoping to create windows that you can open and close for her, again, so that it's a little bit more winterized, well, weather resistant, I guess is a good way of putting it. You can also get covers for them for the winter time, which we might do. Um, so yeah, these are the two colors. I'm excited. But yeah, this is, um, my mom left a whole bunch of green teas at our place because she's it's weird she doesn't like black or green teas because she finds it gives her headaches so this is a tropical green tea i don't know why but the afternoon i like green tea morning i like black i'm like straight up black tea and then in the afternoon i like me my green teas or matchas or stuff like that so this one i'm like what is a tropical war or no it, i'm calling it tropical but it was like warm christmas warm or winter warm or something like that i don't Anyways, um, so the reason why I say tropical is because there's mango and peach in this. It smells really nice. <sighs> oh, I really like that. Um, 
so yeah i'm gonna get back on the work train i've got that meeting in half an hour i touched base with my artist today because there was i just wanted to teach him what i had learned so far with troubleshooting the code the code unlocking the code and um like just moving forward things to look for so i was doing that with him um so yeah it's it's been a productive morning i've got to say um so wish me luck everyone and let's get back to it Late afternoon snack, I've got some baby mango, which is kind of tart, but super delicious. It's only like this big, they're super tiny. So this is two mangoes, if you can believe it. And this bowl is really tiny, just to give you an idea, like it fits in my hand, like, but it, and I mean, cutting mango is kind of an ordeal, but whatever. I also like mini gherkins, so I've got two cut up, and then I like Catalina dressing, and I'm trying to cut it with hot sauce um because yum anyways so afternoon snack and getting a bit more work done it's 4 19 so you know the day's almost done and then it's time to walk and all that good stuff hope you're having a fantastic day also look at my cute little work buddy today blaze you my work buddy are you being cute blaze blaze hello Hello. Oh, cute little beans. Hi. <gasps> Jem is here for the mango. Are you mango puppy? Mango? Here, watch this. She likes the mango. But I tried to give her the like extra stuff on the peel and the the stone, but she didn't want to do anything with it. She only wants mama's good stuff. The stuff that mama worked hard to cut up. She wants that. It's funny, she's particular about things that she likes. She likes mangoes, she likes melons, um, but like other fruits and vegetables, no. Oh, she likes sweet potatoes, she likes squash. She clearly likes anything orange. No, that's actually a lie. She does not like carrots, only cooked carrots. Non-cooked carrots, not a fan, right? Not a fan. <gasps> Look at her poking me. She's like, I want more, more please, more please. Why aren't you focusing on her face right? There we go. This whole time not focusing. All right, work. I missed one. I was like, I only have two here. This isn't right. Okay, there we go. Are we ready? I'm ready. Chem's ready? ready. Let's go. Snow is melting. Boop. Sorry, Jem. Hi, Jem. Are you headbutting me out of the way? Really? Oh, well, just be careful about the bones. Yes. Well, you know how much she likes this um, squishy mat, so maybe she won't go anywhere. But you also know how much she likes standing up at the window. Yep. Leave it, Riley. No, no. Good girl. I cannot believe that worked. How did me telling her that work? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, you're probably peeing or pooing, aren't you? I wanted to 
take over the stuff we got in the mail. So this is the playhouse for Riley. And yeah, it's very heavy, so that's why it's right here. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with it. If it's just gonna stay here until we make it, I don't know. <laughs> Chris, what's the plan? Are we just gonna leave it here until we make it? All right, it sounds like a plan. Bring it downstairs or do what with it? Makes sense. It's uh, it's recycling week anyways, so it works. But um, first off, one of my girlfriends put her book in this really, really cute uh, Japanese, like, I don't even know what you would call this, but um, I'm gonna definitely see if I can use it in her playhouse as like um, a curtain or something like that. And it actually goes really well with the color choices that we already have, so that's really exciting. We got a whole bunch of command hooks. Um, two more things came in today, which was great. So we got some uh, adjustable curtain rods here. This is some shelving. Downstairs we have like this lock and parquet flooring that we want to um, put like obviously we're gonna put down those like slabs first and then put the parquet flooring on top of that we got these cute little star lights so we'll see how these do in the space and I got these these were what I was talking about in the last vlog about um, making sure to check .com and .ca and to find the best pricing or just the internet in general if you're trying to save a little bit of money. Um, but yeah, these are like from the sun powers them and these are going to go in the front of her house. This is super cute and it came with its own hook which I'm really happy about but a cute little, you know, Thing to hold her stuffies and whatnot outside. This would work really cute and there's peaches on it, which I think is just so cute. And then the other thing that came in was the curtains that I got that have these like really pretty bird designs on it. I don't want to take it out because I already took it out once and then it was hard to put it back in, but yeah, so it's really, really pretty. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see, I'm waiting on one more box of parquet flooring and I bought some uh, like fake eucalyptus hanging situation for the space, but I think that's pretty much everything. So yeah, it's very exciting, but I am looking forward to putting this together. It's kind of funny how much this smells like wood as well when you're right beside it. <laughs> so anyways, yes, it'll be, It'll be fun, and I hope to document it with you guys because I think that will be super fun to do. Just did my evening drawing, which I think will, I will turn into uh, little name tags for kids later on down the line. Just kind of getting ideas and trying to figure things out right now. I've done a workout, baby is asleep, and I think I'm going to get to some editing. It's... It's been a good day. I think it's been a good day. I am a bit lethargic now. It is, you know what? It's ex almost exactly 10 o'clock, like one minute to 10. <laughs> I think I'm going to do some editing for maybe five, 10 minutes. And then I think it might be time to relax because I'm just kind of feeling it now. I'm kind of, I don't know why I like all of a sudden some sadness is just hitting me, not for any real particular particular reason. I think I'm just not able to get to everything personal-wise that I would like to in a day. But that being said, I'm looking at my planner and I did everything I needed to do today, technically. But it's just, it's kind of hard. It's, it's hard when, you know, there's just not enough time in a day. Am I right? Am I right? But on that wonderful note, let me know 
do you guys have like a cream of choice for your hands my mom actually made like a really good like butter that she puts in like little jars and it has like frankincense and like other essential oils and stuff and it's just so creamy and really nice when your hands are super chapped because I don't know about you guys the last week was like a polar vortex but uh, let me know like what's your favorite thing to do when it is super cold outside um, like hand cream wise mine is definitely the stuff my mom makes or like ultra repair cream uh, for like extremely dry skin but <laughs> I know it's so random <laughs> um, or just let me know what you guys do when it's so super cold out anyways on that wonderful note I love you guys so freaking much thank you so much for being here and commenting and just the support you guys are so freaking awesome I love you guys so 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 much all right goodbye cool,